Welcome back to Chapter 5's trailer breakdown. I've got so much in inside of here from Easter eggs, from Ninja Turtle references, new weapons that you may have not seen, like grenades that pop through walls. There's so many secrets in here. So make sure you are staying tuned. If you want to skip the trailer and you've already seen it, feel free. I will timestamp it so you can skip ahead and watch my breakdown. You won't want to miss it. Just before we jump into the breakdown, don't forget to pop in code POST before the season does go live, or when it does go live, the battle pass to support me further, and subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's jump into okay, this. Okay, so let's break down the trailer now, guys. Here we go. Let's jump in and see what we have. So we're on 0.25 speed, so we can kind of get a full overview of it. First, we get a lovely shot of the train coming through the countryside. Very European-style vibes I get from this here in this middle section. Bit modernized on the back there, where we can see kind of like the metal building. But we're going to go through this and obviously the gold building up there at the top left and we get the train moving through. Now this looks like the map. Again, none of this is actual gameplay footage. They stay at the end. No actual gameplay footage. So the map might look a little bit different from this. So just note that as we do go through this. Trees look a lot different. Everything about the environment looks pretty cool. Similar to Chapter 4's vibe. Road's still the same. Very similar with the textures. Now we go underground into the underground section, which I assume will be in the game. You'll be able to explore this. We do explore, obviously, the train coming through it first. We should probably go through the tunnel and lead into the underground base which it'll probably go through in the game so you might be able to explore this hopefully in game now we go into the base we can see down here we do get the staircase into here this will either be maybe like the battle pass which would be pretty cool like the lobby screen where you can kind of explore it similar to chapter 2 season 2 but it probably won't be that i doubt they'll ever do that again because of discovery and all the creative stuff but here we are we get a preview of the two skins we get jones and this new skin on the left i don't know her name yet but yes we do have a lovely shot of it in here now in here is where we can get a good insight to what's going on in the trailer we've got a lot of like documents down the floor here the table turned over like an old base almost like they've retreated to here for some reason and obviously on the right we can see a preview of the skins in the battle pass maybe some sort of board that connects to them and a lot of just references in here now this is an area i think in the game later on in the trailer so we go through with a little like target board over there by looks i don't know what it's like an old base they've gone hidden gone underground to maybe try and figure out what's going on with the story however the only theory i have obviously there's nothing in this that spoils the event which is pretty awesome the only thing that might relate to the event is this which he picks up now which is a sticker from peely nana nana which you can see here which is a reference to peely and obviously on the back when he does turn it over we do see that this does reference peely we have your banana which you can see here which could be related to the event i really hope the big bang event if you're watching this in the future it's already happened but i really hope the big bang event isn't just based around a banana and i hope it doesn't kill the storyline off but hopefully it's more than that and obviously we get jonesy's facial expression here he's not happy about his peely peely's been through a lot in the fortnite lore okay next up we get like a little preview of him like revealing all the weapons and here you can see all of the new attachments which we're going to get this season obviously we're going to have all these different weapons which you can add different things to different sites different attachments which will probably have a page on the battle pass or somewhere in the lobby i don't think you'll be able to do this in game which may mean it could be like chapter 2 season 2's lobby if you can customize your weapons a little bit more which could be awesome so i'm looking forward to that i don't know if these will work in creative they'll probably just be br exclusives i don't see how this would work in creative unless they consistently keep the custom mods forever in the less in like the rest of fortnite but it would really implement a lot of creative maps because it would affect the gameplay and everything so i don't think they'll implement it into that but that's a side topic then we get a little preview of the lovely intro of the underground lovely nice little slow motion with the target behind him you can see the different target boards and obviously the chapter 5 season 1 confirming that it is chapter 5 season 1 which is super exciting stuff so as we go through this a little bit further we get a nice little preview of two dirt bikes driving in with another a new car here on the right this lovely py let's go back to that because this py is amazing we see we've got like some futuristic clocks oh sorry not futuristic like steampunk vibes very i guess 
ski vibes and it gives me a little bit kind of like of japan a little bit ski vibes which are pretty cool i do like this a lot japanese style vibe a little bit but then also a little canadian vibe as well it's kind of a cross between both then we get this next little preview of like the coliseum vibe very roman coliseums we get these fish stick here the god being i guess he's probably going to be uh, the god Poseidon there as fish stick. So that's pretty cool. We got a little symbol there on the wall. I don't know what that was. Then now we get an insight to probably my favorite bit of the trailer, the Art Deco style building here, which is just amazing. Very similar to the Art Deco we've had in the past, but this looks incredible. This is a new interior design with some sort of hotel by the looks of it. And it does have these new henchmen. And you can see we've got two henchmen there, another one there. So these could possibly be a boss in here, which is really exciting stuff. Here's the outside view of this lovely hotel, the Grand Glacier Hotel in inside of the mountains which looks incredible you got some tall mountains around there as well if you go back a little bit you can see you've got a mountain up there and a mountain there some things on top of them so maybe they're explorable and you've got the three new vehicles you've got the two vans which are new and obviously the new car as well which is actually possibly the lamborghini here you can see again another rocket league car, car in the map we've got the lamborghini behind here the other new car and the van so three new vehicles rocket league car we've had in the past but pretty awesome stuff and you got like kind of like contrails coming out the back of them which could be similar to the rocket league collab maybe that's going on in the game capture the train comes in next we can see another car on the left side we've got a lot a big huge preview around of the map in the background capture the train you can see the player is running on the train and this obviously isn't how it would look in game it zooms into the player's camera which is why it's not actual gameplay footage you can see the train goes around this bridge around over here and it looks like he's fighting other players using a riot shield and a pistol at the same time which looks like you can actually shoot with it which is pretty awesome so it's really cool you can charge with it as well probably similar to the save the world ability almost identical which is what happens there introducing mods as well we can see weapon mods allow you to customize your weapons differently red dot sites suppressors different sites as well laser sights uh, obviously different mags as well so this will all affect your weapon it looks like it's on the smg which is this here you got like a three burst version of it you can see being in the action you got an auto version you can pick a different ones this guy here in crouch this guy over here as well suppressed pistol there in the game obviously you got another little preview vending machines back as well some other stuff around the side as well uh this is kind of cool you got the distance poi over there which is like the factories and this more steampunk vibe here with this ski resort style vibe then obviously using the suppressed weapon as the, the smg custom one there revamp movement which looks like he's now if you look at this he's two Two stories he's going to climb here. Two walls. So he's got one level. Jumps up to the second one. That is insane. But it looks like there's something on the wall there which he's actually attaching himself to. So I wonder if that's something you've got to equip. Does he actually place that? Like, how does this work? Okay, there's one there and one there. Maybe walls are just all... I don't know how that's worked, but there's something he's jumped on there to connect to. And now Mantling's back. You can see Mantle here. It runs in as well. Here you can see the attachments on the scar, which is pretty awesome. More attachments on that scar there as well. Then you go inside of here. Actually, there's something there as well. If you go back a little bit, look at this. Look. This grenade here is coming through the wall. I don't think anyone's noticed this, but look, that grenade comes out of the wall. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. Grenade launcher through the wall. Pop. Outside it comes. Mantles over here as well. And then, obviously, it switches to the next scene. Now, in this scene here, we get a preview of two Lamborghinis, which is pretty cool. And another one maybe coming in there. You see Lamborghini collaboration there confirmed. Then you get the drift as well. And these two emotes here. And maybe this is a new heel item which is kind of like a chug, maybe chug jug for the team. These look like two emotes here. I think, I don't think these are anything to do with the heel, but that middle one might be. I'm not too sure. Grapple blade combat, another POI preview here. This European style vibe. Do really like this. You've got these trucks here coming in with the grapple, uh, the grapple blade combat. These will all be in my creative map when they're available in creative, by the way, in toy box if you want to try it. As soon as they get added into that, I'll put them in there. You can see the grapple blade does move up to here, and it goes over to the next section. You can grapple your way across nicely, moves into position, and swings like that, and gets a lovely elimination. So that's a pretty awesome weapon. I'm actually really hyped for that. Watch it again. Let's check out the grapple blade. So it moves in. Kind of, you got like swing. If you have a look at the weapon, we kind of get a preview of how it works. So you got different swings. You got one swing two swing and does it just auto maybe there's another button that attacks you got like five different swings you can do until it needs recharging or maybe disappears here's the shield now you can drink while moving you see someone there with a pistol and a riot shield someone here with a upgraded don't know what that is maybe a shotgun not too sure maybe a dmr style gun clingers are back throws it in also you got a box here which a back as well you can hide inside boxes the orange uh, this is going to be snake inside of here you move inside with the pistol here you can see some custom weapons on this left side maybe you've got a customizing game we're not too sure yet how that's going to work so obviously the orange as well pops out here boom out comes snake with his pistol and there is the new collaboration skin there and if you look in the background one thing that no one's noticed there uh teenage ninja new turtles teenage mutant ninja turtles on the right side there so really cool stuff that is confirming that collaboration. I think there was a scene actually 
in the Europe bit, in this scene here, this drain pipe here, which you might be able to go down, which could connect to that. I forgot to mention that. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. This is a really good breakdown. This is probably one of the best breakdowns I've done, really analyzing it to the full depth for you guys. So you can move in a little bit faster here. You can see obviously on the roof, I love the interior. Look at this building, absolutely amazing. This does look like it's the underground building. So we'll go through this section again, we skip a little bit ahead there. Some weird thing there on the table, like some sort of doll thing that's pretty cool. Nothing in the background there that gives anything too much away there. Ninja Turtle there on the right, which is super awesome. And then obviously as we do go through a little bit faster, come on, come on, come on, transition. And we go into Peter. Now I don't know what these guys are doing here on the left, they're like dancing. Emo in, new POI, maybe hotel, maybe a train, no train station. He's at a train station, really cool. Express over there, just gotta be some sort of train station. A little coffee shop maybe up there. Peter's super buffed up, don't know what's happened to him, doesn't look like the one from Family Guy. And then finally we end on the Winterfest style cinematic with the train. Nothing really on here, it's just a cinematic, so. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm quite excited. <laughs> like, I really am. <laughs> pretty cool indeed. So yeah, a little yawn there from me. But yeah, I can't wait for this. Hope you guys have enjoyed the breakdown. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Basically, there's nothing really else to cover in this. It's just a little cinematic. So if you have enjoyed, don't forget to use code POST in your item shop. We do get the little end shot here of the skin previews. Code POST would mean a lot to me if you guys could pop it in. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.